Hello everyone, Jackie Tomlin here. Happy Friday, TGIF. It's been a long, hot week around here. Ready to get into the weekend. We're going to get into a weekend collective read. That means this reading is for everyone and the focus is on what do you need to know. Now guys, remember these are general readings. So take with you what resonates and leave behind what does not. And if you're messaging me on here, well, let's make sure it's me you're talking to. There's several impersonator accounts floating around using my pictures. Okay. Exciting news, guys. I have opened a TikTok shop and you will find it on my profile under showcase uh, and if all else fails go to my website JackieTomlin.com you'll find a link to it near the top of the website under new yes and I'll be adding to that daily and y'all will see lots of promo videos and some of those promo videos actually will be some of the cards that I use so look forward to that as well all right gang let's get into this we're going to get into some messages okay we're going to get into some messages just your random messages into the tarot and go from there and this is the weekend focus on what we need to know for the weekend hope you guys are having a fantastic day uh, later on today, I will be spilling the tea over on YouTube. If you care to join me, it is youtube.com backslash Psychic Jackie. Hope to you join me there as well. All right. And if you're interested in my membership, that's on YouTube as well. That's what I call my green team. Go to the homepage and just hit that join button. All right, gang. Let's see. What do we have going on here? Hello, Miss Alicia. What do we have going on for the weekend? What lies ahead? What is coming up? What is it that we need to know? Now, before I get into this read, I want to talk to you about some insights that I had this morning. Uh, those downloads come in pretty strong and pretty adamant. First of all, this is the night of the strawberry moon. This is your full moon on the first night of the su summer. Okay. Uh, that strawberry moon is packing a powerful karma punch. And this is going out to someone that is in need of a car or something to do with a car. Uh, you've got haters. We've all got haters because, you know, I tell y'all to choose happy, but happy makes people mad. OK, now your haters out here that have been talking smack about you and believe me, they have been talking smack about you. OK. And what I want to say there is someone has been talking about you about, I don't know whether it's about your income, whether it's about your car, maybe it's about you don't have a car or whatever. Well, guess what? That's about to bite them. Hello, Cindy. That is about to bite them because in turn, someone is about to gift you a car. How do you like that? Um, whatever they've been talking about you. It's going to bite them and you getting it tenfold. It's coming back that way to them. So if they've been talking about you have the lack of, you are going to be the abundant one. Okay? You're going to be the abundant one and they're going to be the one in the lack of. So that karma train is rolling around extremely heavy. But it has something to do with a car. So, could be that somebody gives you a car and they end up walking. Stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened. Strawberry moon. Let's see. What does the weekend hold for us under the strawberry moon? Also a great time if you guys are like me and you've got your crystals. I have crystals all over the place. Amethyst happens to be my favorite. Okay. If you've got crystals and stuff, this is a great night to throw them out there for a nice cleansing under that strawberry moon. All right. Let's see what we have. First up, strength. Strength on your side no matter what you do. We have, you are protected by that white light. And we have the moon. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. It's the karma moon. The karma moon, the strawberry moon, it's rolling around big time. You are totally protected by it. You need to recognize and embrace your self worth. Cindy, I am. I don't do those publicly. And we have spirit asking you to take the time to take the time to listen to spirit. Pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to the synchronicities. Okay. And we have oh. My God, y'all are so good at this. 
Do not overcomplicate things. Don't. <laughs> you're overthinking. You're overdoing something. Or you're overthinking. You're overanalyzing. And we have the groove. Getting back into the groove of things. You are feeling more like you. Um, so you're like establishing a new routine or you're just finally feeling like the energy has shifted and you, you are feeling like you, but you're falling back into the groove of things. Little chaos. Well, what would a full moon be without a little chaos, right? And some of you feel like you're just spinning your wheels, that you're stuck on this hamster wheel, um, and that you're getting nowhere. And that's not the case. That is not the case. So, let's see what else we got going on here. What other kind of messages do we have? Um, one of the signs that I had earlier this week is sticking around, and that is the sign of a unicorn. Unicorn or a pegasus. Seeing a picture of a unicorn or pegasus is just one of the signs that's going to show that you're indeed doing what you're supposed to be doing and that you're on the right path. So let's see, what do we have here? We have letting go. This is letting go of people, letting go of situations. It is you closing chapters and you letting go. Well, what happens when you let go? You things come in. You are under the energy of stability. Stability. Things are going your way. You're stable. Not being, not, not a whole lot of height, not a whole lot of excitement, but just good stability. Hello, Julie. And we have expansion. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. I need you to think outside the box. Some of y'all go into an orchid. Orchard or orchard, orchard. Isn't that what an apple orchard? Orchard. Something where they grow fruit. Yes, you're going there. <laughs> Couldn't get that out. But yeah, you're going there. Um, but I need you to think outside the box. It's like the answers that you're seeking are right there at you, but you need to think outside the box. Okay. Purification is here. The transfer of energy. This means you're going to do things differently. Also means that you may be dealing with a fire sign. Uh, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. How can you get a reading? Visit my website at JackieTomlin.com. Been around for 18 years. There's a menu of options over there. And we have wisdom. You know, wisdom and strength, they go hand in hand, right? There's that eagle again, that eagle soaring. Happiness. Happiness, contentment, hummingbirds. Hummingbirds may be a sign that you want to look for. Um, overall, I see happy, joy. Chaos has appeared in your reading twice. It said, full moon, never let you down, will it? Never let you down. All right, let's get into some tarot here and see what we're looking at with this full moon energy. And if you're in a collective reading with a general message, by all means, put it out there, Spirit. Let's see if it'll answer it for you. All right. Strawberry Moon reading. Here we go. Ooh, we're going to start with an Emperor. Knight of Wands. And a Tower. Well, why not? Why not? Full moon, why not? Let's do a tower. There's your chaos. The emperor, dominant, prominent, take charge type person, come on, someone coming in to save the day. I'm going to say this has an aha, glow up moment, something you're not expecting. Knight of Wands talks about movement on the home front. Someone moving in, someone moving out. This could also be the movement of furniture. Some of you buying furniture, but definitely some kind of movement on the home front in the tower. Well, you know, guys, that's your anger, your temper. We'll get to that. We're going to clarify. But there's your chaos in your tower. It's coming. Full moon energy. Nine of Wands says you feel bajiggity. You feel like that cat on the hot tin roof. Cat on the hot tin roof. Um, anxious, excited, and overwhelmed all at once. And in the center of the reading, we have the Seven of Swords. Be warned. Someone is not telling you the truth. Someone is not saying this person is lying to your face now 
I don't know if this has to do with the towel or not, but I can tell you, you right now you're telling somebody to suck it up and get over it. So there's that. There is that. All right. Then we have the Seven of Wands. Ooh, that journey inward. It's going to pay off. It's going to pay off. Trust in yourself. Remember, at the beginning of the reading, we're talking about your self-worth. This is going to be huge for the weekend. Huge, huge, huge. And we have, hello, love. And we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, two nines together. It's a completion of a cycle, end of an era. Letting go. What happens at the end of an era? New doors open. You cannot have a new beginning without an ending. So this weekend is going to be about endings. Nine of Swords, loss of sleep. Crazy full moon energy. You're going to struggle with the sleep. And we have the Ace of Cups. Keeping that heart open. This is a new beginning in love. And we have the Eight of Wands. Again, happiness, joy, love arrows flying around. So, no, you know, this tower is obviously not holding you down at all. Because we have too much happiness going on around you. Alright, let's get into these messages a little further. And we're going to start up top with that Emperor. This Emperor comes with an ego, so you know. So you know. Alright, we have the Eight of Wands again. Okay. With the Ace of Pentacles. And the Two of Cups. Happiness, contentment, love, arrows flying around, and you beginning in money. And look at there, we've got date night. So, this emperor, whether it's your emperor or your empress, someone is definitely interested in you. Definitely interested. Making their presence known this weekend. Okay? The Knight of Wands going with that movement around the home front. We have the Knight of Pentacles. The Empress, I can't make this up. And the Ten of Cups. So we have the ultimate power couple here of the Emperor and the Empress. Emperor, Emperor and the Empress. Somebody used you as the Emperor or the Empress. This is also an indication of positive changes on the home front. For some of you, this could also indicate news of a pregnancy. This is an indication that there's new money coming in. Uh, new money coming in. It's going to, you know, it's the slowest move at night in the deck. Hey, Mama Lake. So there's that. And then we have someone offering that happily ever after. And also, a couple things have popped out here. A gift of chocolates. I mean, yeah, that's a good way to want a girl's heart. Gift of chocolates. And we also have a trip to the beach. Either one. Sound like a good plan to me. Also, another sign I want to throw out to you. The rainbow. A rainbow will let you know you're on the right path. All right. Now, let's see what this tower moment is about. What is this tower? Why is this tower here? What is going on with the tower? What is going on with the tower? Drama. Drama. Drama, drama. Ten of Swords. Remember I said you're surrounded by that white light? Well, you're surrounded by the healing energy. Physically, mentally, emotionally. And the Knight of Swords is going to come rushing in. It may be over money. It may be over money. Okay, so drama, I believe this is family. If this is not family, this is your close inner circle, your friends. Definitely a tower card moment. Asking you, you're kind of above this. You're above this drama, okay? So it's going to be very brief and passing. You have two tens together here, the ten of swords and ten of pentacles. Two tens together is just as powerful energy as if I pulled the death card energy. This is a powerful, powerful new beginning. The two nines, the end of the era. The two tens, the new beginning. Okay? Going to be a little bit emotional. I'm going to throw that out there. But you've got the abundance card. This is the ten of pentacles. And this is health, wealth, family, friends. Rushing in at that. It is everything. You're very abundant. And you know what that does? That provokes the jealousy in that karma bus. Remember that. And I want to say, 
also when I say don't over, uh, overthink things, don't stoop to anyone's level. Don't stoop to their level, okay? Know your self-worth again. Nine of Wands coming into play. Nine of Wands. That bajiggity feeling comes with oh, digging for your patience. The world, as in the world is your oyster. And we have, oh, damn, another tower. Tower. Tower number two. Tower number two. I cannot make that up. Let's see why that is here. Right here in the immediate. Digging for your patience. The world is your oyster. But yet there is another tower. Somebody, I'm telling you, that strawberry moon is going to come at you hard, guys. Coming at you hard. And we have Theta Pentacles. The Four of Swords is calm before the storm. Six of Cups. It has something to do with someone in your past. This tower has something to do with money and with someone from your past. This is the calm before the storm. Honestly, you know me, I'm going to shoot you straight on how I see this. This is you about to snap before you go off on somebody. Okay? And it's got to do with money. It says money in addition to, by the way, a little extra money coming in for you. And it's got to do with someone from your past. So there's that. Now, beside that tower is that seven of swords. Could have to do with that too. Someone's straight up lying to you. I don't know about you, but lies never work well with me. Never, ever, ever do they work well with me. That will definitely lead me to a tower moment with the quickness. What do we have here? We have sticking close to home, your glow up, doing you. You guys are looking great. You've done something with your appearance. You're doing something different there. You guys are looking great. People are noticing that. The Five of Cups, I'm telling you, the worst thing you can do, the worst thing you can do this weekend is overthink things. You will kill your energy and you will kill your own vibe if you do. Do not get in your head because this is you. Some of y'all need that good luck charm. That good luck charm, that amulet. Something there to remind you of your self-worth. To remind you of who you are and not to stoop to that level. Okay? Seven of Wands, that journey inward. Again, Eight of Swords. No one, listen, listen, listen. No one can hold you back this weekend but you. No one can hold you back but you. Someone is getting ready to contact you that you are currently not speaking to. This could be more than one person because the lines of communication are really wide open here on this full moon. So I'll throw that out there too. And we have the Queen of Swords that you could be dealing with a Virgo energy here. This person comes in, they want to talk, they want to meet to talk, they want a nice long set down conversation. All right. Nine of Swords talking about the loss of sleep comes with, we have a jumper here, Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands says you've been going through some things. You're not out the woods yet, but you know what? You're kicking butt and taking names, right? Because this says the worst is over. The worst is over. You're on the home stretch of it. Page of Swords. Secret Admirer. Taurus Energy here. Taurus Energy. I'm not sure if they're coming forward yet, but you've got one there. Well, yes, maybe they are. Woo! Trump in this reading. I've never been so glad to see the Magician in all my life. The Magician, the highest card in the deck. Oh, wow, Cindy, that was in our reading the other week. Wow, I'm sorry to hear. Um, the Magician, the yes answer, getting everything you want and desire. Yes, ma'am, it certainly was. Mm -hmm. Foot, ankles, or calves, sure was. Um, getting everything you want and desire. Um... And I'm so glad because it trumps your reading, especially when you're looking at a couple towers on a, on a full moon. That kind of ick. Ugh. It trumps it. You will prevail. Nine of Swords says, yeah, bear of bad news. You are definitely, definitely losing sleep here. And we have the King of Pentacles. Could be dealing with the Gemini energy. You guys are in a good financial position. If you're working this weekend, it's going to be worth your time. 
It's going to be worth your time. And we have the Five of Swords. You are guarded and defensive. And it's because of the lies, the deception, and these idiots that want to come at you this way. I don't blame you. I'd be guarded too. And on your happiness card, I'm going to do a bonus ones too. Five of Pentacles, you are going to be granted with a spiritual and financial blessing. It is only coming in when you thought it would not. The Hermit. The Hermit and the Jiggity go together all the time. Everything here. Hey, Heather. Everything here says you're on the right path. Trust where you're being led. Seven of Swords. There it is again. Someone is definitely lying to you, and you need to acknowledge that. All right. Bonus. Two of Swords. You guys have got decisions to make, and it's going to be this weekend. It's also telling you to get a little downtime. Look at you, Nine of Pentacles. Some of y'all just decide to remain single, doing you. Like I said, you're going to feel that shift in energy. You're going to know that you're in a good place. Haters or not, you don't care because the Six of Swords, Swords says you're leaving the trouble waters and you're heading off into the calm. Some of y'all getting ready to do a boat ride. Boat ride. Kayak, pontoon, ski boat, something. There's a boat ride. All right, so what did we take away from this reading, okay? Is it working on yourself, that journey inward, you know? Hi, Patricia. You know, it's it's doing you. It's remaining happy. These towers, you're going to take them out. There's not going to be any problems there. Um, avoiding drama. Just keep it focused on doing you. And big, big of all, sit back. You've got stability. Sit at home this weekend. Watch that karma bus roll by. And comment me or let me know what does this have to do. Oh, that's really cool, Cindy. What does this have to do with a car? Specifically, a car. Someone wrecking a car. Someone having a car repossessed. Karma is rolling around. It has to do with a car. Yep, you've got an enemy. It says, watch your back. Also, let's be warned of third-party interference. Um, somebody could have put you in a third party. Somebody may be trying to put you in a third party. <clears throat> twin flame, divine connection. You know, this person is hard to say no to a twin flame. They're the ones that keep looping around. Just keep on looping around. And we have a soulmate. Damn. So y'all got a soul flame. <laughs> That's what I call it. Soulmate and a twin flame. You've got the both of them. So yeah, you're probably going to need a reading on this one. I'm just saying. All right. And what do we have here? We have your healing. You are surrounded by that healing energy. Um, there is a forever ending here. Part of the endings and closures. Okay. And we have someone coming in to apologize. I see that. I'm sorry. And for whatever reason, I see purple rose. A purple rose is going to be significant. And like I said, you guys, sticking close to home. Your stability, grounding, centering. Um, and you know, you know, I don't even need to tell you that you're, you're dealing with a lying player. Lying player. It's right here. That's what you're dealing with. Don't sugarcoat it. Don't pretend that that person is anything other than what it is. It's a lying player. That's what I've got going for you. Stay home this weekend. Stay out of trouble. All right, let's throw down some randoms here. Let's throw down some randoms. Y'all, I am working this weekend. I'm going to be working on your promotion videos and all sorts of things. And I'm doing readings. Mama D, how are you, dear? All right, we got jumpers here, too. What we got? We've got um, some of y'all doing the holistic way of healing. I like this. Increase in finances. There is a delay. Reconnecting with nature. News of a baby. It's the second time I've seen this. Someone's coming in to question you. Oh, that's just going to make you mad. That might provoke a tower in itself. I don't know about y'all. I don't like being questioned. Um, lessons and blessings. Count them both this weekend. 
you're dealing with someone in authority, someone in a uniform. Mother figure is here. Someone views you as that mother figure. And let's avoid. Are you ready? A karmic relationship. That's what the strawberry moon is bringing to you. The karma bus and a karmic relationship. My singles, this is not the wink and be seeking love. I can tell you that. And the one that shows up, oh, that's going to be karmic relationship. Karma bus. Karma, karma, karma. Y'all stay home. Smudge yourself a circle. Stay in it. <laughs> All right. We got some travel and not so far distant future. We have, um, there is a female coming in to seek your advice, but something is going to occur this weekend that is over and above. Oh, it supersedes your expectations. Okay. And this is a nice gesture by someone. Could be from the secret admirer that's coming forward. Earthbound energy. You don't overthink things. Get out of your head. There's exciting news coming in that you're going to be ready to celebrate. There is concern, a message of concern that you need to take care of. And when I say think outside the box, I need you to be abundant. Remember endings, new beginnings. I need you to think new house, not just new house, big house. I need you to think new car, not just new car, shiny new car. I need you to think not just travel, big trips, new furniture, big things. It's there. It's within reach. And there's a wealthy man to go with it. Uh, this gentleman could be wearing blue. I want to throw that out there. That might be significant to you. And you're definitely under endings and closures. Do not, what, whatever you do, do not manifest poverty. Do not come any way whatsoever out of that negative mindset. Okay? Um, the lack of. Remember, this is karma. Those that wished the lack of on you are going to get the lack of while you are abundant. And you can expect an older woman to contact you. She may contact you about an official person. Um, I don't want to say news of a death, but it's some devastating news that she's contacting you about. Okay? And if you're working like me, you're working and gaining, it's going to be worth your time. Some of you are looking and re researching of taking a trip by train. And some of you will be signing a legal document. Not this weekend, but upcoming. Okay? Now, let me see what affirmations we have for you for this crazy karmic full moon. Crazy karmic full moon. And y'all keep your notifications on over here with me because I tell you what, I might jump on for some readings, but you're going to get a lot of promo videos because I'm just getting that TikTok shop started. There is a link to it on my website. Also, you can visit my profile here and I'll take you to the showcase. All right, let's see what we have here. We have, my life is full of options. I choose only what chooses me. And we have, everything I touch turns to gold. Oh, look at there. Y'all got the Midas touch going on. Hello, Mama Jess. And we have, I am creating a life that I am excited to wake up to. Yes. Thank you, Mama Jess. I appreciate you. And it says, I am in competition with no one. I run at my own pace. And y'all, these are words to live by this weekend. These are words to live by. Let that karma bus roll on by. You sit back and do your thing. My ability to conquer challenges is limitless. My ability to succeed is infinite. And one more. I have the power to change my thoughts in a second. Ooh. We know how women roll. Men have the power to change their mind, too. All right, gang. That's what I've got for you for your reading. Yes. Yes, ma'am. This is a collective for everyone. If you're seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. Readings start as low as $15 and go on up. It's all in what you're looking for. It's a wide menu of options over there. I've been around for 18 years, guys. So, glad to see you over here. Like I said... 
hit uh, hit that follow button because you will see me again over the weekend. You guys have a super fantastic day. Enjoy your Friday. And if you would like to join me here in about an hour or so, I will be on YouTube with the spelling of the T, which is an entirely different read. It is YouTube.com backslash Psychic Jackie. You guys, see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.